Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today from McFarlane Toys and their Spawn action figure line, we are featuring Sam and Twitch, the much beloved duo from the comic book series. All right, so uh, when McFarlane first announced these figures uh, some months back on their social media, um, I was kind of like mixed. I was excited that we were getting new figures of them. Uh, but at the same time, I think I was kind of disappointed in um, the design. Uh, for example, Sam on our left, he didn't really... Um, uh, the figure doesn't really embody how I envision the character. Uh, he, looked, he didn't look as rotund as uh, the previous figures. And even though it's really well sculpted and looks amazing, I was just kind of um, met with some reservation. You know, it wasn't something I was necessarily excited for uh, but twitch on the other hand i thought looked amazing so um we're gonna get started so i purchased this recently at one of my local targets um, i believed it retailed for about around 39 dollars i think which sounds fair because you're roughly paying about you know 19 to 20 dollars for each figure which is uh the standard the standard price for most mcfarland figures um, as you can see it comes in a large a deluxe box uh, with both figures in the background you kind of have that spawn a green haze or mist uh, emanating in the background um, there's some weapons that are included which is nice um, as you know if you collect like the DC multiverse stuff put out my by McFarlane uh, McFarlane's not allowed to include firearms with DC action figures uh, but Spawn is a completely different story. As you can see, um, Sam comes with a machine gun and Twitch comes with two large revolvers. Uh, there's also two display bases placed in the background. Um, on the side of the box, you have some nice artwork. And on the back, um, more artwork. I believe this might be artist Ashley Wood, who was involved with McFarlane and Spawn many years ago. Um, I think that's who it might be who did the artwork all right so let's get started and take this out oh uh, real quick um, uh, here's a quick flash uh, flashback so if you're a longtime McFarlane collector or a longtime spawn fan you'll remember this uh, the original Sam and twitch two pack uh, by McFarlane Toys that came out years ago. This is something that came out back in 1996. And this is the Sam and Twitch that I remember. This is a Sam and Twitch that I love. I think this is an amazing two-pack. Um, and if you look in my back catalog of videos, I, I actually do review this um, set. So if you're curious about this, uh, just jump into my channel and just do a search for Spawn Sam and Twitch and you should find it. But yeah, this is the original set from 1996, and this is the modern set. Alright, this is a much larger box, so I might have some difficulty trying to take this out. Uh... The space underneath my camera is really cramped, so... Alright, here's the cardboard insert. It's nice, and I'd suggest, you know, possibly keeping it for, like, um, you know, a diorama or display, but, you know, the minute you remove these stands, you're going to damage the cardboard insert. So I don't think there's, you know, any good way of preserving this. Uh, but the stands are nice. They're much like the stands we get with a lot of McFarland figures, but they have the Spawn logo on it. Uh, first impressions of Sam and Twitch while they're still in the tray, um, they look great. You know, by today's McFarlane standards, these things, um, very impressive. They could easily fall in line with, you know, the Spawn action figures or even the DC multiverse. Uh, the quality looks on par with everything else that McFarlane's doing. Alright, so for now, I'm going to leave the 
revolvers and the machine gun in the tray. You know, we're just going to focus on the figures. The minute I take these out, I'm just going to like lose them or drop them during the video. Uh, this is the part I hate the most of doing my video reviews as I unbox them. I hate taking out all the plastic ties. Uh, sometimes I'm lucky and there'll just be the one tie, but other times like this, it seems like they tie down every limb. So it takes a little bit to get these guys out. And I think that's everything. No, it's take... Right, I think that's it. Right, that should be everything. Alright, so let's get started with Sam and Twitch. Um, let's start off with Sam first. Um, first off, let's take out, let's pull out the old one. And you can see a side by side comparison. The old figure is a lot smaller. Uh, the original Spawn action figure line, I think it was like five and a half to six inch scale. Um, this guy is much taller now this is what i was talking about i love the design of the older figure he's much more rotund has a big fatter belly this guy doesn't really have much of a belly he's he looks more husky and just built like he's been hitting the gym it's almost like the wwe wrestler if you're if you're familiar um with uh rhino who currently wrestles for impact on and off he's a big husky guy but it's not like he has a big belly he's just wide and that's the case here with Sam. He's just wide, which isn't a bad thing, I guess. Um, he stands in at about seven and a quarter inches. Uh, for a size comparison, uh, uh, just wait. Here he is next to um, uh, the McFarlane designed Batman. So, you know, this figure could easily blend in with your DC multiverse, you know, if you want. Um, if, you know, you can even try to pass this off as like Detective Harvey Bullock. You know, if you wanted to use him as a DC character. Um, in terms of the sculpting, now, I just love the face. You know, despite the fact that I have issues with his body, <laughs> the face is amazing. Really beautiful expression. The paint application is awesome as well. Um, the light's kind of blowing it out, but there's a nice gradient. He almost has like a 5 o'clock shadow. And it's really mean, stern expression. Uh, the texture on the coat is nice also. Kind of like emulates leather. Um, the pistol that's stored in this holster here is actually glued on. You can't remove it. Uh, the jacket doesn't want to come off either. It feels, like, it feels like it's either plugged in or glued onto the torso. Nice texture on his shirt. Here's his tie. Again, beautiful texturing on the coats. A uh, somewhat uh, bendable material here. Um, uh, nice texture on his pants, on the slacks. The folds are nicely done. They're a little bit subtle. They're not, you know, too excessive. And then as you get towards the bottom, you know, more folds and wrinkles. Really well done action figure. Uh, in terms of Sam's articulation, his head rotates left and right. It's kind of met with some resistance as you hit the the lapel. Um, his arms go out, they go up. 
Um, I can't tell if there's a butterfly joint, but the motion, the range of motion seems pretty decent. A uh, single, single pinned elbow. And then I think it swivels at the elbow also. There, because there is no bicep cut. Um, there is no ab crunch. He does swivel at the waist. Legs kick up. Mine feel a little bit tight though, so I'd want to force it. Uh, single pinned knee and ankle articulation and toe articulation. Uh, these joints feel a little stiff on my figure, so it's kind of hard to bend. I'm not going to force it right now. But that gives you an idea of his um, articulation scheme. A uh, beautiful figure. Like I said, you know, I think if you're not into like spawn, but you want to incorporate this into your DC multiverse line, I think this would be a great proxy for uh, the Batman character, uh, Detective Harvey Bullock. You know, it looks great. All he kind of really needs is like a hat, but. All right, up next is Twitch. All right, this is a nice looking figure. Um, again, if you're unfamiliar with Twitch, you could probably try to incorporate this into your DC Multiverse line and this, say this is a proxy for um, Commissioner James Gordon or if you want Detective Gordon, if you want him like a little bit younger. Um, I love how the proportions on him are a little bit more exaggerated and somewhat comical, much like in the comic book. You know, he's a very lanky, wayfish figure with like a really large head uh, beautiful sculpting love the hair the hair is amazing some texturing on his coat as well uh, some subtle folds uh, the folds get a little bit excessive towards the cuff of his sleeve but that's all right i think it adds to the the charm and character you know makes him a little bit look more it makes him look a little bit more like anxiety ridden or a little bit more you know serious deep into thought uh, nice slacks. There is some color disconnect with the knees and the rest of the leg, but I don't think it's that bothersome. I think I think it's more so just dependent on your lighting conditions. Um, yeah, great figure. I love the um, shades they're using. The slacks is kind of like a olive drab olive green, and the coat is a nice uh, light shade of brown. Uh, in terms of articulation, um, head rotates, looks down about there, looks up, arms rotate to go out, bicep cut, elbow, double pinned elbows, which is nice, um, articulated wrists, um, a cut mid torso so you can swivel there, and then he still swivels at the waist also, legs kick up. A little stiff on mine. Uh, double panda knees, which is excellent. Articulated ankles, articulated toes. Uh, this guy stands in at about uh, seven inches. And here's a comparison next to the original figure. Uh, the original figure came with a tactical vest and a headpiece right there. As you can see, uh, incredible size difference. But the head still kind of retains that kind of look, you know. Now uh, here he is next to the McFarlane design Batman. Uh, like I said, you know, if, if if you're unfamiliar with the Spawn universe, you know, this easily blend him in to your DC multiverse line and say it's Commissioner Gordon. I, I don't think anyone's going to care. <laughs> For me, it kind of works, unless you're like a real stickler and, you know, but it, the aesthetic is good. I think it works well. The height is decent. And here he is next to Sam. So you have the pair together. Uh, beautiful duo. Um, you know, even though I'm much more fonder of the original figures, I think, you know, this is a great modern er interpretation of this beloved duo from the Spawn comic books. You know, this is something I think is well worth the purchase also. I think the asking price is fair. You know, $39 for the pair of them. And it's awesome. It's nice to get these kind of characters, you know, that don't don't always look like superheroes. So, 
great set. If I had to rate the set on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I'm going to say a low 9. Um, I think they're great, you know. In the world of Spawn, it's nice to have, you know, his supporting characters. And it's just, it's, you know, for me, it's a fun piece of history. It's nice to get these guys. You know, they don't, Sam and Twitch, they've gotten a couple of figures throughout, you know, the last uh, 20 plus years. Uh, but, you know, th their figures are always kind of like few and infrequent. So it's nice that they kind of thought of them in this day and age and kind of like gave us modern interpretations of these characters. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.